Welcome back. So today I'm going to unbox uh, this. This one's the ARC dash uh, 4K. Front dash cam has a 4K. And then the rear view camera has a 1080p. And this is the mirror dash cam. So my client purchased this directly from their uh, website. By the way, this uh, video is not sponsored by this uh, company. And it supports uh, up to 256 gigabyte of uh, memory, GPS uh, tracking, and that's the optional. And the unique about this one is a magnetic uh, mounting system. So the rear camera, it is uh, weatherproof. So I believe uh, he purchased a bundle. It comes with the rear camera, GPS, and then uh, sent this uh, max endurance uh, 256 gigabyte of uh, memory. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, unbox this since he's uh, kind of open already, but I told him not to open all the way. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see. So this one is the Max Endurance uh, card. It's a micro SD XC card with the adapter. And this one is the white. Four K UHD full HD video. So this is the dash cam right here. ARC four K capture the unexpected. And uh, here's the QR code, you can follow them. That's what the dash cam is going to look like. So I think with the whole setup, it's about 280 bucks with the tax and everything. So. This uh, remind me of uh, Apple uh, smartwatch. So you need to peel this off. And this one has a split front and then a rear view camera. It's a microphone. I believe that might be the on and off switch and then uh, this is a magnet right here then right here is the front dash cam you could adjust it and right here is the DC input AV input trans flash memory card slot right there and then the GPS. GPS will track you, see how fast you're going and stuff like that. And your coordinates. So this is the secret light adapter. And it seems that there's a LED right there. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a USB port. So this will go in here like this. Okay. So they come with this uh, plastic. This reminds me of a screen protector, but you need to peel this off and then uh, paste this on your existing uh, mirror. And then you peel this uh, double sided tape and then uh, stick it on this uh, plastic 
because uh, if you have tinted window later on, if you decide to take it out, all you need to do is just uh, peel this uh, plastic. And after that, be sure there's a cutout right here. You can only slide in one direction. Okay. So this will facing the top. And also come with a prying uh, tool. Actually, this is to insert the wiring into your interior. By the way, this way it is a touch. Here's all your uh, menu settings. Alright, so I'm gonna go get my uh, scissor to cut out the memory card. I'm gonna do some tests real, real quick. Let me check this thing. So it comes with this uh, double-sided tape and two of the small screw for the rear camera. Like that. So be sure to peel this uh, plastic protector or it's going to be uh, cloudy on your mirror. So this uh, red cable will connect it to your reverse uh, light so you will know when to activate the camera when you put it into reverse. You need to put this jack in here, the AV audio video input. So I guess uh, he didn't purchase the GPS then. So let me go get my uh, sensor to cut out the memory card so we can test this thing out real quick. And my uh, portable uh, charger. Alright, so let me uh, cut this uh, open. So I know this is the original one because they give you a code right here. They give you a code to free download the software. So I know this is the original. So be sure the memory card, the white part is facing the mirror. And just uh, push in. Okay, that's it. I 
Like a Maya Fox P. Use it as a power bank, jumper, and everything, which is nice. I'll be including a link there in the description so you can check them out. So I come with this uh, pigtail that I could insert here and do a test. Wow, automatic. Wow, look at that. Pretty clear. So right here, you can turn on and off the microphone. Snap a photo. Wait. And here's all the setting. Well, this is in uh, Chinese. Let's see, there's a, what's the language at? So right here is uh, 4K, 2K, or 1080p. All right, so it says uh, insert the card. We need to format it. So you need to go to setting and uh, scroll down and right here is the card and we need to format it see if it still give you the error message nope so now it's uh, recording by itself already all right, so right here, we're going to set the date, uh, the month, and then uh, date. And right now, the time is uh, 4.25. And you're supposed to know your GMT. Put that for now and see. Alright, so if you get your uh, mirror and it's in uh, Chinese, you want to go ahead and scroll down and uh, make sure you click on this one right here. And now you change to uh, English, Spanish, French, Japanese. I'm going to change to English. There you go. Okay. So this is the uh, restore, factory restore. We already did the format. And the microphone, yeah, the speaker volume, you can change uh, to mute, low, medium, or high. Keep it on medium. And then there's a start up sound, either on or off. I'm going to leave it, leave it on. Right here is the mile per hour or kilometer per hour. I'm going to leave it at the mile per hour. There's a driver ID. Maybe you have a different uh, taxi service or something, or Uber or Lyft. You can put your own uh, ID. And then there's a data stamp. On or off. Leave it on. Uh, GMT, you need to know where's your GMT. Uh, look. You need to go to uh, Google search if you, know, if you don't know it. And microphone. You can leave it on. So you record what we're talking about right now. And then the uh, day and time. Already went over that. And then there's a screen timeout. And then there's also a parking mode. So you need to hook it up. Probably need a special wiring instead of this uh, secret adapter. So the G sensor, I believe is on. So you can set on uh, high, medium, or low. So in case uh, there's an accident, it automatically record the clip of the video. Let me set on high. And uh, loop recording. You could uh, set it to every three minutes or five minutes, let's uh, set it at three. Okay. HDR, you could turn it on or off. It is on. And then a uh, rear camera flip. So this one, you could flip it on or off. 
So in case uh, this way, if you need to install this way, then it's going to flip, okay? Four K resolution. Where I went over that, and then go back. So that's a playback for your gallery. Okay, there's a front, rear. So if you need to capture something, uh, you can just hit this. And then there's a lock right here. You could also adjust the brightness right here by going up and down. All right, I forgot to show you guys on how to uh, change the camera. Right now it's the front and you strive in the middle to the right. You see the front and rear, if you swipe it one more time. Now it's the rear, okay? If you swipe it one more time. And now it's the front. You gotta swipe on the middle, to the right or to the left. Okay, to toggle uh, back and forth. Well, anyway, it's a pretty good unit. On the next video, I'll be showing the tutorial on how to install it on his car. It's a GX470, alright? Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or drop any in the comments on below. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.